This computer-generated robot person has digital limbs, but no operating instructions for them. It fills the hours trying, failing, remembering, and trying again. The robot teaches itself to walk using artificial neural networks modeled after our own. This game-changing technology is called machine learning, and it's all highly influenced by one physicist's unlikely and innovative research into the physics of the human brain. In 1933, physicist John Joseph Hopfield may have considered that none of his five children had taken to physics before naming his sixth child John Joseph Hopfield. My parents had a very quantitative view of the world. But despite the encouragements of his parents, both physicists, the younger Hopfield found his high school physics teacher less than inspiring and gravitated toward chemistry instead. He presented both options to his college advisor, who simply picked up his pen and crossed out chemistry. And I became a physicist. That's how it happened. That's how it happened. <laughs> that advisor, a friend of famous physicist John Joseph Hopfield. But physics alone could never contain the younger Hopfield. With a PhD from Cornell, he worked in solid state physics until 1970, when he unprecedentedly ventured into the biology department. When you look at biology from the point of view of a physicist, biology was miraculous. After rising to prominence with a groundbreaking theory that shed light upon the infinitely complex physical mechanics in DNA, he became determined to unravel a bigger mystery, the physics behind the human brain. What fascinates me most is still this question of how mind comes from machine. Hopfield began his research thinking about memory. Say I have a friend who's tall, energetic, and really loves space. Someone describing my friend could mention just one or two of these things, yet somehow my brain can fill in the blanks and call up Derek Pitts. Hey, where am I? In my brain. Huh, sort of feels familiar. Hopfield wondered how a network of neurons could recall a full memory with only partial information. His groundbreaking solution is called a Hopfield network. Think of it as holiday lights in a net, where the individual lights can either be on or off. In this case, the memory being recalled is your cat. Now, should you manually activate and deactivate random lights, scrambling the memory like this, the network can still recall the original as long as some of the memory is still there. That is, if you don't scramble the picture too much. A single Hopfield network can hold multiple memories that behave the same way, recalling a full memory with partial information. Hopfield's concepts from the 1980s were astoundingly original, and they inspired the machine learning neural networks that are changing the world right now. Your face detecting phone recalls your face despite the bad angle or poor lighting. Self-driving cars can access the decision to step on the brakes with only small hints about the environment. And with these ideas, real robots learn to walk, in part by storing memories of movements that work, then retrieving those memories from only partial cues. From physicist to professor of molecular biology, Hopfield seems to walk a winding road. But in the end, he's never changed direction. I never really considered seriously being other than a scientist or engineer. They were the ones who understood the world.